And in question 14, we're looking at how to generate equations of the parabola given the focus and directrix. Question uh, 14 reads, which equation represents the equation of the parabola with focus negative 3, 3 and directrix y equals negative 7? So a tip I'd like to give you on a problem like this is um, if you're given just the uh, focus on the directrix and you ask to find the equation, you want to use a sketch um, to find out your values. Okay, so always use a sketch to visualize uh, the placement of values. Placement of values and orientation. Okay, so if you don't have a sketch, it's very hard to do it. It's not impossible, but it's easier when you have a sketch. Okay, so we're dealing with a parabola right here. So the question is, where does the parabola open towards? We know the parabola opens towards the focus, right? Um, and then the directrix is on the other side. So what are we talking about? Is it to the left or the right? Is it up or down? It's hard to determine those values without a sketch. So what we're going to do is give ourselves a visual of what's going on here. And then um, it's going to be really easy to figure this out. So let's see. What is the opening of our parabola? That would tell us if it's going to be y equals 2 or, or x equal 2. If you look at the options that we have right here, it's, it automatically tells us it's going to be y equal 2. So it's going to be an up or down orientation in the direction of the y-axis. Now, let's sketch the um, focus first. Negative 3, 3. So 1, 2, 3. And I go down one, one, I'll go up, sorry, go up one, two, three, bam, right there. So that's the, the uh, focus of our parabola. And then the directrix is located on the line um, y equals seven. So it's going to be up here. Looks like I'm going to run out of space. So let me do it again. So one, two, three and then go up one, two, three. So that goes the focus. And then the directrix, so this is three right here, is that line, uh, is y equals seven. So three, four, five, six, seven. Bam, right there is the directrix. So with these two um, points, can we figure out what the parabola looks like? Well, let's join the directrix first, okay? The directrix is the same distance from the vertex as the focus is to the vertex and is on the opposite side. It's outside the parabola. Okay. Remember that the focus of a parabola is always inside the parabola. The parabola always bends in the direction of the focus. Now, where are we going to place our parabola in this situation? Where is the vertex going to be? The vertex is going to be right down in the center between seven and three. Okay. So to find a median, all you just do is um, subtract the 2, 7 minus 3, divided by 2. So 7 minus 3 is um, 4 over 2, which is 2. What we just found is the p-value. Okay, so the p-value that we're going to be using to generate the um, equation of our parabola is 2. So the p-value is going is basically the directrix, the x value for the directrix minus the um, the y value for the directrix minus the y value for the focus over 2. All right, so it's 4 over 2. All right, this is one way of finding that p-value. Another way of finding that p-value that helps us locate our vertex is just count. 1, 2, 3, 4. What's at the center? This is at the center right here. So it's going to be that 5. See that 5 right there? That's right at the center. So do you see what the parabola looks like? We're going to fold the parabola in the direction of the focus. That's how it behaves. So it goes right here, it goes down like this. Bam. Excellent. So this right here is P. Remember, P, the dis, P is uh, the distance from the directrix to the vertex and is also equal to the distance from the focus to the vertex. They both, they both have a value of 2. 
Okay, now to finish this problem off, we need the formula for the parabola with this kind of orientation. So the formula for parabola opening up and down is y equals 1 over 4p times x minus h square plus k. Okay, so what is hk? hk, you just look at the vertex um, of the parabola, all right? So this is the vertex right here. Let me show that to you. This point right here is the vertex. So the vertex is what? The y-coordinate is 5. The x-coordinate is 1 to 3. So the, the vertex is 3, negative 3, comma 5. All righty. So we just need the vertex h and k. Uh, we need the vertex and p, and we're good to go. So the vertex is uh, negative three, comma five. All right. So if we put it into the equation, so this is h and this is k. So h is negative three, k is five. What is p? We already found p, right? P is two. So we plug all that into this equation. Oh, and also, uh, in this particular case, is our parabola happy or sad? Because this is plus or minus, right? So let's be careful with that, or else we could mess up the problem. So it's plus or minus, plus or minus. If the parabola opens down, then we it's going to be a sad case, OK? So if it opens down, just as in this case, since uh, it opens down. What does that tell us? The sign is going to be negative. So y is going to be negative 1 over 4p times x minus h squared plus k. OK, so I hope that makes sense. Opening down just looks like you're sad, kind of sort of. But So open down is negative. And then it opens up is positive. All right? OK, so this one opens down. So our p is going to be negative here. So our um, answer, we're going to put everything together now, is going to be y equals negative 1 over 4p, uh, which is 2, times x minus h, so minus negative 3, square plus k, which is 5. All right, I just took these three values and I put it in here. So let's make it look pretty. Final answer is y equals negative 1 over 8 times x plus um, so minus minus this plus plus 3 quantity square plus 5 and the answer to number 14 is option number 1 oh wait hold on this doesn't have a minus we need a minus and a plus okay all right yeah option number 3 is the answer Let's make sure. So minus minus 1 over 8, x plus 3 squared plus 